It is time of world war. An American prisoner of war is washed ashore in a dying state and is found at the doorstep of a Japanese doctor. Should he save him as a doctor or hand him over to police as a patriot? Keeping this question in background, we will read through this inspirational and interesting story written by Paul S. Buck, which illustrates human beings' ability to rise above enmity and prejudice. So welcome to my channel, Rendezvous with Rina. Paul S. Buck is an American writer and novelist. She spent most of her time in China as she was the daughter of a missionary. Her novel, The Good Earth, is one of the best-selling fiction in the United States in 1931 and 1932. She went on to win the Pulitzer Award in 1932 and was the first American woman to win the Nobel Prize for Literature for the rich and the truly epic descriptions of the peasant life in China. The Enemy, written by Paul S. Buck, touches upon the universal theme of international humanitarian laws, the relevance of the Hippocratic Oath, and the prejudice against nationality, race, and color shamelessly practiced worldwide. Let us have a brief look at the history before we delve deep into this chapter. In July 1940, U.S. stops export of the scrap iron steel and oil exports to Japan. Japan loses 90% of its oil supply, crippling its military and economy. But it responds with massive attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. The attack took place in the Hawaiian Islands in the Pacific Ocean. The Japanese attack was directed at the U.S. naval base in the Pacific Ocean, that is Pearl Harbor. And this picture also shows us that Arizona is lying at the bottom of the harbor. The Japanese Air Force carried the attack in two phases, with the result that U.S. was caught off guard because they thought the planes to be of their squad but they turned out to be Japanese. And this resulted in Japanese major tactical victory. Over 300 aircrafts were lost and damaged. Battleships and other ships sank. December 11, 1941, Nazi Germany and Faces Italy declared war on US and it resulted in the rise of anti-Japanese bias. Let us understand the backdrop of the story. It is set during the Second World War when America and Japan were at war. Japanese people went to America for training to become doctors. Doctors were needed to treat the wounded soldiers fighting in the war. Women went to America for education. The prisoners of the war were treated badly in Japan. The generals of the army were quite ruthless and the servants and the workers were very loyal. So the story opens at the house of a decorated Japanese surgeon who was trained in America to become a doctor and a scientist. He had studied medicine in America his professor had guided him as ignorance of human body is surgeon's cardinal sin. To operate without complete knowledge of the body would be murder. Dr. Sadao met Hana at his professor's house. He married her after returning to Japan in traditional Japanese style after the approval of his father. Dr. Sadao, during his early years, lived near the sea coast. He grew up playing along the coast, climbing pines and watching islands. At the age of 22, his father had sent him to America 
because he felt America could make his future. He returned after eight years as a surgeon and a scientist. He was practicing a discovery that would render the wounds clean. So it was a war time and he could have saved many lives of the wounded soldiers. But the army general was not keeping good health and did not trust any other doctor. Hence, he did not send him with the army troops and kept Sadao to treat him if there was a need. So one day it so happens that when the couple was standing at the veranda, they saw a man being violently flung to the beach by a wave. They rushed down to help him, afraid that he might be a fisherman in trouble. As they turned him over, they realized that he was not a Japanese. In fact, he was an American prisoner of war who had escaped. Sadao noticed that the man had a bullet wound and was bleeding profusely. While he wondered what should be done, his surgeon's hand seemed to be working mechanically to stop the bleeding. He packed the wound with the moss and checked the heartbeat and found that the wounded had a faint heartbeat. On the other hand, Sadao as a patriot did not want to help the white man. Sadao and Hana had contemplated throwing him back into the sea as it would be easy way to get rid of him. But if they kept him, they would get in trouble for sheltering an American prisoner of war. And if they handed him over to the police, he would eventually die. But seeing his state, neither Sadao nor Hana had the heart to throw him back into the sea. So they eventually carried the man into their house. Upon having a closer look, Sadao realized the man needed to be operated on. Again, they were conflicted. Why operate and save a white man their enemy? They mulled over. They decided to get the man cleaned first. So Hana ordered one of the servants to wash the man. The servant, however, refused to wash the white man and Hana reluctantly cleaned the man. We see that though she was neither a doctor nor a nurse and she even nauseated at the sight of the blood, but being a dutiful wife, she gave anesthesia to the enemy. She also saw red marks on the prisoner of wars, that is Tom's neck, and wondered if he was tortured. The marks make, made her recollect the famous celebrated and the victorious battles fought under the command of General Takima and also his torture towards prisoners and even his wife. Children, we also witness that Sadao gets engrossed in the operation of the enemy and addresses American prisoner of war as my friend during the operation. And he successfully removes the bullet from his body. The prisoner of war, that is Tom, eventually woke up and was frightened when he realized that he was in a Japanese home. But Hana allayed his fears and over the next few days, Sadao and Hana nursed the man to health, but were otherwise cold towards him. And their servants were becoming increasingly watchful. The servants did not want Dr. Sadao to treat the prisoner of war. Yumi, the maid, refused to clean the enemy. The old gardener wanted Sadao to let him die. They felt that they had become too American and wanted to show off and went on to say that the young master is so proud of his skill to save life that he saves any life. The servants were scared of being caught by the police for sheltering an enemy. They were superstitious and believed that at first he was shot, then the sea caught him and wounded him with her rocks. And if the master heals what the gun did and what the sea did, they will take revenge. 
and finally on the seventh day the servants left the service of Dr. Sadao. Hana did not like the American but yet cared for him. We see Tom, the American prisoner of war, was worried as to what would be the next course of action. Dr. Sadao wrote the whole matter to the general but failed to send to him. And finally on the seventh day we witness that the servants, they leave the house in protest. But Hana and Sadao bore this stoically. That day Sadao was also summoned to attend to the old Japanese army general and Sadao decided to come clean with the army general and told him about the soldier. General could not allow Sadao the best surgeon in Japan to be arrested so he offered to send assassins to kill the white man and dispose of the body. Sadao agreed to the plan and left the doors open for the assassins to enter. He waited for three nights but when since no one came and the general had failed to send the assassins and since he had not shared the news about the assassins with Hana as it would scare her and Tom was improving in health and was getting stronger and better so he finally takes a decision. Sadao decided not to take any further risk and he told the young soldier that he had regained strength to take his boat and row to the little island off the coast. He gave him water, quilt, his boat and dressed him in Japanese clothes. He tied a black cloth around his head and asked him to wait for the Korean fishing boat to escape. He warned him not to make fire and asked him to catch the fish and eat it raw. He also warned him against using the torch which he had given after a lot of deliberation. And a week later, when the general recovered after the surgery, Sadao informed that the prisoner had escaped and the general confessed that he had forgotten to send the assassins because he was ill and it was not the dereliction of duty. Sadao waited for the American prisoner of war to send a signal if in trouble, but when he did not get any, he assumed that Tom had escaped and was safe. That night, Sadao found himself reflecting on his life in America and the Americans he had met. He had hated the American prejudice. He could not feel thankful enough to his American landlady he had, who had taken care of him when he had influenza. Then he also remembered the young soldier and pondered on his inability to kill the white man. Now children, what could be the reason for not being able to kill the white man? Well, it was because of the innate goodness that Sadao bore and the human values with which he was nurtured and that made him, that made all the difference. Thank you.